Uh, we have yet another fake outrage story. Uh, and the conservatives love this because uh, they say a lot of outrageous things, so they like to do strike back. If any liberal ever says anything that's slightly off, they're like, oh, they jump in it, right? So Melissa Harris Perry was doing a panel, and I want to tell you the title of that uh, panel. It was Look Back on 2013 and Laugh. And what she had on that panel was three comedians. And what they were supposed to do is give captions to photos from the year. So then this unbelievable controversy happened. Watch for yourself. Everybody loves a baby picture. And this was one that really a lot of people had emotions about this baby picture this year. This is the uh, Romney family. Yeah. Right. Um, and, if, and of course, there on, um, on uh, Governor Romney's knee is mm -hmm. his adopted grandson, mm -hmm. who is an African-American, adopted African-American child, Kieran Romney. Any captions for this one? One of these things is... <laughs> Does he yeah. do the same? Yeah. And that little baby, front and center, would be uh, the one. Really and happy. isn't he the most gorgeous? My my goal is that in 2040, the biggest thing of the year will be the wedding between Karen Romney and Northwest. Uh, <laughs> Can you imagine uh, Mitt Romney great. and Kanye West oh as in-laws? I, I think this picture famous. is great. It's it's really sums up the diversity of the Republican Party. Yeah, <laughs> really Every RNC. Right. Right. They have the convention. Yeah. One, they find the one. So they had apparently four comedians on there, including our old friend Dino Badala, who made uh, that last joke there, which was outrageous and sickening. Did you notice that Melissa Harris Perry in the middle there called the baby gorgeous? How dare she? Okay, now, uh, of course, this uh, got the right-wing blogosphere uh, just a flutter. So here comes The Blaze, Town Hall, Daily Caller, Breitbart, and then, of course, Fox News jumps in with the Five program all saying, how, how could they say this? They hate black kids, they hate babies. And, uh, and uh, the five said that Melissa Harris Perry should immediately be fired, because apparently anytime anyone any says anything on MSNBC, they should immediately be fired. Then my favorite comments came from Dana Loesch uh, in regards to Dino Badala. She said, you're a baby bullying bigot, <laughs> which is, as he puts, uh, points out, Nice alliteration there. And uh, she then said, you continue to show everyone you're the party of bullying black babies <laughs> and suppressing minority involvement in other parties. I love that. <laughs> Was the baby about to get involved in another party? <laughs> and and Dean suppressed that? Well, he went on to apologize to the Romney family in an article he wrote for the Daily Beast, but definitely not to the right wing and not for any other jokes he's ever made. Uh, I still think that's probably uh, too, a bridge too far for me. Uh, then Melissa Harris Perry, the host of the show, who made the joke about Kanye's uh, kid getting married to Romney's grandchildren, said, I'm sorry, without reservation or qualification, I apologize to the Romney family. That seems perfectly fine. But then she went on to have four more tweets uh, about her apology. I work by the guiding principle that those who offend do not have the right to tell mm -hmm. those they hurt that they are wrong for hurting. Now that's good, that's consistent, that is what she holds other people's standards to, or the standard that she holds other people to, I should say. Then she says, therefore, while I meant no offense, I want to immediately apologize to the Romney family for hurting them. Were they really hurt? I don't know, nobody's really, I'm, I don't even think the Romney family's weighed in yet, let alone the black child who would presumably would have said, yeah, yeah. Melissa Harris Perry continued, as a black child born into a large white Mormon family, I feel familiarity with a Romney family pick, I never meant to suggest otherwise. She's even got her own hashtag for the apology, <laughs> MHP apology, and one last one, uh, I apologize to all families built on loving transracial adoptions who feel uh, I degraded their lives or choices. And then she added, Oh my God, I am totally, 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 totally sorry for that. <laughs> uh, okay, Melissa, we got it. You're sorry. All right, uh, Jimmy, uh, I would like to start with you and have you apologize on behalf of all uh, liberals, comedians, liberal comedians, and people who've ever watched MSNBC. Go. Yeah, yes, we're, you know, I apologize for comedy, for even existing, right? <laughs> People should never laugh at anything that might ever hurt someone's feelings, even if they're incorrect. Melissa Harris Perry is such a mystery to me how someone of such 
average intelligence and, uh, can get A, to be a professor, and B, people ask her her opinion, and C, host a show. That is, what she is doing is so gross. She's pretending that what happened on her show is as bad as what happens on Fox News, that that was somehow race baiting or something. And so now what you're doing is when you call everything racism, then nothing is racism. And that's exactly what Fox News wants to have happen. And that's exactly what Melissa Harris Perry is playing into again, because she's not that bright. Wow, that's coming over the top in a way I didn't expect. Yeah, Dave. you didn't think that was going to go against Melissa Harris Perry, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, first off, just to the to the joke part, to Dean's joke part, and we all do know Dean personally. I used to stand on a corner in Times Square with him, handing out tickets for years to get into comedy shows. His joke was not about the baby; it was about <laughs> yeah. the lack of racial diversity in the GOP. And not only that, it's a joke that everyone on Twitter makes during the conventions when they show the one black guy at the convention. So the so Dana Loesch is attacking him about attacking the baby, yeah. but that simply didn't happen. Uh, so that, that's the main thing. It, it sounds to me like you might be a baby I, bullying I, bigot as well, I, Dave. I assure you and that. now that I know you used to do comedy with Dino Badella and mm, you put two and two together, I you're gonna come. Taught, he stole that bit from me. Yeah, I, I bet you did, yeah, it right? Was my, yeah, God, it was why my do you bit. hate black babies so much? <laughs> I have my reasons. Um, <laughs> but speaking of that, I think you're gonna actually owe an apology because your baby impersonation was, it seemed uh, a bit, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? I, it was I'd a like little. I based it on my own baby and I'd like to apologize to her so, right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and for all the other babies that I have maliciously hurt. <laughs> Yeah, so, so we've all heard those bullshit apologies where people say, um, if you are so overly sensitive and you have a real problem with life in general, I am sorry that you're offended because you're such a loser. That's an po apology that should have been issued on this matter because it was the most non-offensive, just, I mean, they're making jokes about Kanye's baby marrying Romney's baby. Nothing bad was said. Wow, to turn this into something that is, you know, a racial issue and a baby bullying issue is <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. I just love the idea of Dean coming up to babies like, oh yeah, you better not do that. You know what? There's gonna be consequences. Babies are afraid of them. <laughs> babies are. Fear plus, you know, I don't know if you, the audience knows Dean is Muslim, so yeah. ooh, so it's like, doubly, yeah, yeah, that's pretty scary when you ba bully babies and you're Muslim. Yeah. Okay. So what about the point? Don't you think that this? Uh, does that thing that we're supposed to be fighting against, this false yeah. equivalency. So now, somehow, Fox News isn't as bad when they do the Shirley Sherrod thing. And when Bill O'Reilly sits there and talks about, of course, uh, uh, blacks c c cause all the crimes. That's why we're afraid of them. Remember, he did that just a few months ago. Yeah. So when they do things like that, somehow that's now equivalent to this. So they're all equal, and we don't have to hold anybody to any standard. I think they sort of box themselves into a corner with getting rid of Alec Baldwin, then getting rid of Bashir, and now it's like, well, Melissa Harris Perry had this segment that maybe was somehow racially charged, as stupid as we may think it is. So they box themselves into a corner, and then it's like, just apologize and end this thing, as opposed. To to letting it go on for another week, and we so just I'm we so just got out of the Duck Dynasty when nonsense. When do you stop apologizing? When do you I, stop apologizing? Because they can say that about anything you say. They can just go, well, uh, and then, yeah, then you have to start apologizing. Because no. that we all know that there's that's laughable. They should have laughed at that. What it's it's disgusting. I mean, below it brings down the level of discourse now. So now you can't talk about anything ever because someone's going to intentionally misinterpret it to shut you up. So so let, let me just uh, quickly agree with both of you guys. Uh, I think MSNBC's got to stop. Apologies, and they got on that Stop. apology train, and they just can't get off of yeah. it. Now everything that Fox News finds objectionable, they got to go out there and do like, oh, I am so sorry, I have offended Chairman Mao, etc. <laughs> right? And it's just driving me crazy. And they've jumped the shark on this one, right? And obviously they weren't saying anything bad about the kid. Look, if I was the host, I might have wanted to add like. Hey, God bless him for adopting a black kid. You know, credit to the Romney family, but you know, it's funny. Obviously, it's so funny. You look at the picture, who doesn't belong, ha ha. Yeah. We're supposed to be doing captions here, right? Yeah. And that's what they were doing, so there's no need for any apologize. apologies. I might have added that one line, but who cares what I would have done? I actually have no problem with what Melissa Harris Perry did initially on the panel, and her apology is actually the best apology I've ever seen. It, I don't think she needed to apologize, but if you're gonna do an apology, that's the correct way to do it instead of what Steve mentioned, like, well, if I offended your sorry ass, I guess that's your problem. You know, she said, look, it's, you know, it's on me and I hold people to that standard, so I appreciate that. I think Jimmy's a little, you know, angry at her for pro-Obama stances, that's a little... But don't you think that this actually hurt, I mean, this, this actually does more damage. 
I'm with Jimmy on this. I, I totally think you're right. And um, I also think that in some small way, Melissa Harris Perry is flattering herself. Look, what you said is not that big of a deal. It's not that important. It was a joke. It was a light segment. Move on. To issue this apology on top of apology on top of apology, making this like this ma massive major issue, enough already. Move along. I well, mean, you know, this is crazy. She added her own hashtag. If you take it to yeah. that level, like then it just continues the conversation. But I, I just want to say <laughs> something about Dana Loesch, who's the one that's attacking Dean I mean, on this. The, the this is the same... The disgusting people in the world. Right. So, so Dana Loesch and Katie Pavlich, these are the same people who are going berserk about Phil Robertson's right to say whatever he wants. And now we're three <laughs> days later, and they're upset about what, what Phil Robertson said, which I believe he has every right to say, whether I agree that or not, is far worse. No, and, and Dean you, was much worse than Phil Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> but Dean was only talking about one baby, and they're talking okay. about a big group so of I people. I want to wrap all that up. Okay, first of all, if I did an apology and did hashtag Jenk apology, that's so full of yourself. Oh, you guys yeah. are right about that. Yeah. That's like it's a little unbearable. Okay, to, and Dean wrote a, uh, in his article. You're right. Uh, Dave, that he, he said, you know, I'm waiting for Sarah Palin and, and, uh, and Bobby Jindal to rally to my defense because they're big freedom of speech advocates. Yeah. And I know they did with Phil Robertson, so they're, I, that's got to be around the corner. I'm yeah. still waiting on no, it, I'm right? Harris, Perry, <laughs> fired immediately after Phil Robertson is fired. <laughs> <laughs> and right. so, and then, have to switch jobs. How right, and that, that goes to my that? final point, right, which is what we've all been alluding to here. Uh, number one, this is a, it's a win-win for Fox, because number one, yes. what it does is yes. it, it helps them say, it's like, oh, the boy who cried wolf, right? But they're the ones who, who are crying it. They don't want you to cry wolf because they're, they're the wolf, right? So when, you, they, when they come, they don't want anybody to say anything about yes. it. So when MSNBC they, does it, they're like, wolf, 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 ha, -ha. Right. Yeah, And then they turn around and say, like, everybody complains about these little tic-tac racism bullshit. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember, like, they, but wait a minute, you guys were doing the tic-tac complaining about bullshit racism. When you compare, that, and that goes to point number two, they want you to ignore the Phil Robertson, et cetera. Yes. Because that guy actually said, look, gays are so vicious, they will murder you, okay? He said that in a 2009 speech. We ran it on the show, okay? It, he said that uh, blacks actually liked it under Jim Crow laws. That's only a million times worse and than what anybody yeah. said on, on the Melissa Harris Perry show. And what they want to do ultimately is let's just call it all even. Yes! Okay. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs>